That's why they just call and provokes us. They say that kids are the future. Another one that it built it. And teachers know that sometimes Don't touch it, ben. it can seem like a distant future. Their brains are always on. And usually their mouths are on too. Their youthful creativity and enthusiasm can be heard in their inane chatter. I believe the adjective you use was insane. For one group of gifted and talented kids at Blackhawk Middle School, shaping the future is more than a euphemism. Project a magnetic field from one building to another, that building can pick up. Eighth grader Colin Westgard and seventh graders Ben Pankow and Will Cobbett represent the six person group that designed an entry for the Future City competition. In their city named Vida Nova in the year 2162, there is magnet propelled cars, wireless electricity. Uh, everything that's produced has to either be recyclable or compostable. The buildings are actually built on, in, in the city, are actually built on a big frame. Rooftop gardens, that collects a lot of our, the rainwater. And the kids are getting help from a mentor, a modern day city engineer, Egan's Russ Mathis. Getting them to think through things a little bit more, and maybe do a little bit more research. His expertise guided them through what's feasible and what isn't. Although he couldn't talk them out of their main energy source, a dormant volcano. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, when we talked a little bit about that, what happens if the uh, volcano is no longer dormant? So they thought it through well. Mathis also helped prep them for their presentation in the Future City competition. All of us probably had huge knots of tension. So he, he helps lower the anxiety level a lot with these kids by saying, you know, here's what's gone on in the past. Here's where I see yours is going. The group was so well prepared and presented so well that they finished first place in the state competition and will head to Washington, D.C. for nationals. I'm still sort of in disbelief, though, that we won. Like, I, I can't wrap my mind around it. Though it doesn't surprise their teachers. They have bright futures. They are intelligent, intelligent young men. <laughs> very sharp, uh, very uh, eloquent in, in their speaking. Like their dormant volcano, these kids have a potential just waiting to be tapped and the Future City competition helps to harness their creative energy and enthusiasm. So do they have any creative ideas for here in Eakin? I would say flying robot cops like we have on our city would be a very cool addition to Eakin. <laughs> It'll be interesting. Some of these students, you know, they could go on to create these things. So uh, I wouldn't be surprised. So.